Hello and welcome to my channel. So you've probably already seen Rug Doctor in your store in the States or your supermarket in the UK. It's the most frequently rented carpet cleaner and Rug Doctor is number one in the world and you don't get there by mistake. So we're gonna have a look at their very latest model. This one has the fold down handle and it also now has a super boost spray. So let's get out of the box and let's see what fun we can have with the new Rug Doctor. Okay, so inside we have got the user manual, but hopefully we'll be able to show you what you need to do. So save you a bit of time there. It's got the not so easy to recycle polystyrene. On the top. This is the attachment for cleaning your upholstery on your sofa or in your car. It uh, fixes on the back. It does look a bit cumbersome, but uh, we'll show you how that fits in a moment. There's the back storage plate. And you can see that you do get some detergent that comes with it. So you get 266 mil, but actually to do any sort of size carpet, you'll need a bigger bottle than that. But I'll put the links in the description box below to show you where you can get this. So one of the things I really like about that is it's pretty much fully built, which is fantastic. We can see there, you've not got lots of bits and pieces to clip together, which is really excellent. So we'll take the bits and pieces off the bottom and then we can have a look at the features. So your Rug Doctor comes with a little starter bottle for you of 266 mil. And um, that'll do you one room. Um, you'll need to get yourself a bigger one. So when you're buying it, make sure you pick up an extra large bottle of the detergent because this bigger bottle uh, will allow you to do four rooms. So you get a little bit with the set to start you off, but you do need to order a bigger bottle so you can do most of your dirty carpets in one go. Okay, so we've got the uh, Rug Doctor out of its box. The company was started by a carpet cleaning chap actually, and in 1972, so I say the brand has done amazingly well to become now the world leader. So we're gonna have a look at showing you what the bits and pieces do on the main unit. You've got a really long cable, and then this is the bit we spoke about earlier. This is the bit you clip in the front, you then rock a switch a different way. You're able to do upholstery or the seats of your car. And with that setting, you haven't got all the brushes running on the machine. You've just got the vacuum itself. And we're just gonna clip the uh, cable tidy on the back. That's the last bit there we need to do. So we're gonna put on our cable tidy and you can just see you've got two lugs that fit on the red bits there. And that's all there is to that. So one of the first things you'll know that's different about this unit is you've got the Super Boost Spray. So it actually, what it's doing, it's putting double the amount of the fluid and the cleaning fluid into the carpet. So off if you've already cleaned your carpet fairly recently and this is just to give it a freshen up on the spruce. If it's the first time you've done it, then I'd have that sector on and then you're giving the maximum amount of gunge is going to come out of your carpet. Okay, on the top then, we've got handle release. So this does two things really. One, you can get it to a comfortable height for you. And remember, with like all these sort of machines, when you are actually cleaning, you're pulling it back. 
and the fluid is being put into the carpet, it's being agitated and it's being sucked out the front. So when it's running, you'll see all the glorious mud coming out of your carpet. So remember, get this a nice comfortable height because you're pulling it back. When you go forwards, you're not worth and water using the water speaker, it's lifted up a little bit. And then you can run over the same spot again to make sure you've got all the moisture out of your carpet. The other thing this handle rather cleverly does is it makes it easy for storage. So that makes it much easier to put it in a cupboard. Um, many of the competitors don't do that and they're quite a bulky machine that ends up being in the garage. So I think that's a rather neat little feature. On the top here, we can see we have a few switches. So basically this is the on off and what this one is gonna do, it's got two options off obviously. Uh, if we go the two bars, then that's in carpet mode. So you're gonna start using all the different motors and beaters that get your carpet clean. If you're going here, tool, and we'll show you how to fit that in a minute, then you don't really need uh, all of the machine running, you just need the vacuum and the liquid going in. And this is the way you would clean your car or your stairs, or maybe a spot clean on furniture. So we'll pull this back into lock position. It's comfortable. Now this button here, that's marked deep clean, this is actually, you're putting your cleaning solution into the carpet, so this is water. So when you're actually using this, you would go to the, the side of the carpet you're going to clean, and then you would hold this so that water's going in as you pull the unit back. Then it's pumping water in, the brushes are agitating the carpet, and then finally, the front of the machine sucks up all the dirty water into a different tank. So you would pull it back like this, you let go, and then go over that carpet again. So you lift it up, drop it down, on the back wheels, drop it down, and then pull it over the same strip of carpet again. And what you're doing is you're vacuuming, you're sucking any moisture that was left in the carpet. And you can do that as many times as you're still seeing fluid. If you're seeing fluid coming up here, then keep doing it. And you will get the carpet to feel almost touch dry if you've got that right. The carpet shouldn't be sodden and then with the windows open or the air conditioning on, by the next day, your carpet will be dry to the touch and ready just for you to hit it with a normal vacuum to bring the pipe up. So we'll just show you now how to fit that uh, exciting cleaning tool that goes in the front. Okay, so let's have a look at the different parts, the different com compartments you've got on the front of your rug doctor. So the easy one is that one, that's the carry handle. So use that one to lift it around. This one, is your clean water tank. So you just pull it forward and it comes straight up. And that's the feed into the machine. So what you do is you unscrew this one here, you fill this with, I usually use lukewarm water. Seems to work a bit better on all the uh, machines. That's marked detergent. And so you would pour your detergent in there um, to the amount that it says on the bottle, depending on your type of carpet. You pour that in tighten it up, make sure you tighten it up or you can have a bit of a leak. Give it a little bit of agitation just to make sure that you've mixed up the detergent and the water and it's then ready to dock. And this is where the clean water is gonna go into your carpet from. So dock and then lock. That's that bit. Now on the front, it's very similar. This, if you like, is the tank that is storing the waste water. This has got the dirty water. And for anyone who's already cleaned your carpets before, you'll know we all get very excited about looking just how mucky our water is. And you will find yourself showing this to the rest of your family. And so with pride and joy, look at all the crap I've got out of my carpet. So, same sort of thing. Uh, you lift it off. Obviously this time, once you run it, this is all full of dirty brown water with sand and all sorts of stuff in it. You'd unlock it here, un unscrew this here, and then you can pull that away. Now, you might want to do that in a toilet. If there's a lot of flick and stuff in it, it might not be ideal for your kitchen sink because you could block it up. So pour it out. You will need to fill it with water, swirl it around a few times because you will find there is sand and grit in here that all is quite heavy. So have a few goes and rinse that off. Then when you've done that, you can screw that back on. You're docking your machine. There we are, that's all in there. And that's all ready to go now 
to uh, start uh, your next section of carpet. Okay, so we're gonna show you how to fit the rather marvelous cleaning tool. So if you have a look at the head, what you've got in there is your spray that under pressure is pumping that water in. Here's your little brush that you just wipe over uh, the whatever stain or spot, or if it's the stairs you're trying to clean. And then there's a little thin gap in there. That is where you are vacuuming the, the fluid back up. So you've got a trigger here, so that, you've got the machine on obviously when you do this, you pull that, pull that one and that's spraying the water out, a little bit of agitation and then finally a few times to pick that water back up. So that's your head that you're using. Where it docks to the machine there are two points and the reason there are two points is that uh, is where the water is coming from. Or incidentally you might see a little bit of water coming off this and in the machine. They do water test them in the factory before they come out so if you find a bit of water in it don't think oh my goodness they've sent me a second hand one. It's just where it's tested in the factory. So this is your water feed this is coming out of the, the top tank. This is uh, where the waste water is going so we dock that one first. So here we go then, we pull our little flap down, we uh, have our naught to the top here and you push this in all the way and then you turn it clockwise and you'll feel there's a clonk and it locks and uh, rather cleverly there's a little padlock at the top, that means you're in the right place. So now we just need to get the water feed and it's the same sort of idea, so you're starting with the uh, zero towards you, you push it, you hear the clonk and then you turn it clockwise and you can see that the lock has gone round and now you know that your water feed is connected. So we'll be taking our water with the detergent coming out here, it'll be going wee, all the way along the tube, we'll be firing out the front, it'll be vacuumed back in there, all the way back along the tube and it'll end up back in your waste water tank. These are fantastic, they are so useful, you will find you don't know how you lived without it before. Okay, one quick tip, when you have finished with your tool and you're putting the machine back in the format to do carpets, you've got this rubber seal, make sure that it's well in, right? Because that should be a watertight seal now. You can have a lot of dirty water coming in here, make sure you've got that in Fully, it should all feel smooth when it's in otherwise you're going to have some leaking down the front so just make sure that's on one of the tips of the day. Okay so you can see how we've um, fed that on there and locked all of that together all the bits that you'd use for your car part. Now the rather neat bit here is that's fine when it's in the cupboard and you're storing it but you don't really want to if you're just uh, cleaning your carpets you don't want all that. So here's the magic trick. Just lift it up that, if you're not using it, can stay in your cupboard and you've got a lightweight rug doctor. And the only other bit you've got on the side here, you twist this bit around and then this is your cable tidy. So at the bottom of the rug doctor you can see some of the great features here. The very large wheels that make it much easier to go over a deep pile carpet than some of the competitors. But also, this is the working end of the machine isn't it? You can just see the number of brushes here that are working hard to get your carpet clean. They are amazing. They're stiff and ready to do the business on your carpet.
please like, share and subscribe and come back every day for more fun here on my channel.